Sky and Finn. I'm Maria. I'm Lucy. And we're a &E Collective, which stands for Art and Ecology. And we're a Glasgow-based arts and kind of writing, academic, design. theory, design, practice, yeah, community-based kind of collective. We came together um, as a kind of uh, shared counselling session, eco-clinic, um, in the face of this existential dread that we all faced <laughs> um, as, uh, of the climate crisis. Um, and then we kind of grew from there. I dragged Lucy in to help with some graphic design. We dragged Maria in to help with some writing. Um, yeah, and it kind of grew from there. We started the publication and we launched it at the art school. Um, and things just kind of like snowballed from there. I think part of it is um, working in a collective has been really helpful for us because we each, it's quite an overwhelming subject and I think the aim of coming together as a collective is to find new collaborative ways of taking our different skills so I think it's by nature a very interdisciplinary topic and um, you kind of can't tackle it from one angle so I think by having that combination of like an academic and a design and arts based practice we can kind of find new processes um, of reaching new sort of platforms for whether it's discussion or like, exhibition or performance or publication um, and yeah to also just provide a sort of emotional support group for ourselves and uh, others others that we invite into the kind of a &E orbit so it's kind of to challenge anthropocentric rationale yeah. and provide a platform for other ecologically minded uh, artists yeah. and create networks of people yeah. um, with sustainable initiatives um, across Glasgow and hopefully internationally, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Just sharing thoughts, feelings, values, like how we cross over, how we don't cross over, and yeah, obviously along with the ecological crisis, mm. like just sharing thoughts about that. Is, yeah. Breaking things down a yeah. bit, yeah. Many. <laughs> I think like, the, the challenge for us is because we've all worked in hospitality, the roses, always, yep. like, just trying to find Precarious time to cross over, it's just not, it's not, not easy. Um, yeah, that was a big on a practical basis. That's on a practical day-to-day -day yeah. basis, but in terms of our goals, it's always trying to stay sustainable, thinking about the repercussions of our actions and processes, or the materials we use, um, and trying to keep things as sustainable as possible. So tr staying true to our initial yeah, moral yeah. codes, but still being, pro not provocative, but challenging the status quo. Yeah, and using those kind of challenges as a learning curve, so when we were doing a publication, which we did purposely as newsprint, so that it would be like recyclable and a bit more ethical, and um, the first run, they misprinted it all, so we had all this waste paper. And so we thought we would um, recycle it by like reprocessing the paper into homemade paper to make business cards. But then we worked out the energy required to do that was actually worse for the environment than if we'd kind of just recycled it as normal paper. Um, so it's kind of like working through these things as we as we go along is, is actually quite useful. And um, I think a lot of the challenges is there is no right answer to dealing with this, and it's an emergent. So all the terms we're working with, like Anthropocene, are emergent, contested, and we're constantly trying to find ways of um, noticing things like our own privilege and doing it um, within different communities and always kind of finding new perspectives. So part of that is critical work and hosting reading groups and inviting different voices to kind of contest topics rather than assuming that we all know what X or Y means. Um, so we've sort of done lots of we've tried different things to work through that whether it's kind of more um reading group stuff or actual producing work and publications i would say don't feel like you have to say yes to everything and um, really look after yourself don't be victim to millennial burnout and <laughs> um, yeah be in it for the long haul yeah, exactly. We were talking about this earlier, like being in it for the long haul might mean putting out lots of little seeds and hoping they'll grow back, but not being too invested in 
or are uptight about one particular thing um, and keep things ticking over always um, but talk to people that are outside of your comfort zone so talk to people that have a completely different practice from you they might not be practicing artists they might be um, you know architects they might be novelists they might work in community food production but that's been some of the best things for us is that, that kind of reaching out beyond our own sort of circle mm. Yeah, yeah, I would say chat to people and build relationships with yeah people not necessarily in your immediate friend group and your network and just keep expanding out mm. always. I think there's value in working together as a group of people yeah. rather than being just one person. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. use social media in a positive way, so use yeah. it as a tool of expression but also just be like welcome to that as a kind of networking tool but not necessarily that's the main purpose for it, but you'll be surprised what comes back through things mm. like Instagram. A lot of our yeah. commissions and stuff yeah. have come through very informal mediums like that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just keep use it to keep a record of what you've been doing. I think it's nice.